All right, guys, let me go through this quick. Uh, you warm up, you grab a mat and kettlebell, and you be in your own space, and we're gonna do three rounds. I'll show you what that shoulder circles I want with that. So your workout, let's see if we can figure this one out up top. Um, we're gonna try to get, we go to four rounds, should be no problem. It's about 10 minutes a round, we're not gonna time it, so go at your pace. But the flow is gonna just be, you do the numbered exercise, you can't see over here, it's cut off. That's number one of the round. And then you're gonna do the exercise of the round. So, round one is gonna be 12 squat jumps. So after every main exercise, you're gonna do uh, 12 squat jumps. You got your dumbbell V climbers, and then 10 each side, and then round one, you're going to do your 12 squat jumps. And then your kettlebell figure eight with a twist, and then your 12 squat jumps. Your plank walk up with shoulder tap, and then your 12 squat jumps, and so on and so forth. So we got 12 exercises, all right? So round one, yes, you're gonna do 12 squat jumps 12 different times. But boom, then you're done, then you go to round two. You gotta repeat the exercises again, the, the dumbbell and kettlebell exercises and body weight, and then uh, round two, we're gonna do lunge jumps. Again, you can modify, you can do squats. If you like 12 is too much, go to 10, go to eight. Uh, lunge jumps can be split squats, split squat jumps, just regular walking lunges. Uh, um, or stay, yeah, walking lunges too. You don't have to stay in your own spot. This workout is kind of designed like that. Um, but if you want a walking lunge, you can. You got skaters, and then round four is six burpees. So yes, that, that should be a good cardio aspect. And then our exercises, dumbbell V climbers. You guys know all, all most of these. But again, there's some new people watching these videos, so uh, ten on each side. So V climbers. 10 on each side, figure out with a twist. This gets people, you are bring that weight up and you're gonna bring it to your opposite shoulder. And then you kind of come back to the middle, always go through the front of the legs. You switch hands behind you. When you bring that kettlebell up, it goes kind of to that opposite shoulder. Okay, we'll do our best to work with people who haven't done these yet. Whoops, when you do these right, nice strong um, spine, you're, of course, when I sit engaged, you get that extra little spinal twist or the extra little oblique work, which I like, and a lot of people like that one. That's your figure with a twist. Your plank walk up is gonna be up top. Just one shoulder tap, back down, back up. Other shoulder tap, that one's fine. Cross body curl is just a bicep curl, bring it to your opposite shoulder. Nice twist, if you got a kettlebell you wanna do, it works with that as well. So there's a couple different sides. Weights we'll do, get your seesaw, this is a light one. So you're gonna lift one arm, opposite leg, goes in the air, another light dumbbell, we can T row, no push up here, we just gotta go up to the sky. So again, light weight, you can keep both feet, toes on the ground if you want, and just kinda twist up. Just make sure you don't over rotate, try to keep those shoulders stacked, back down, kind of side, light one with that again. Lighter numbers if you want to, your offset push up, what we mean is you can have your hands. One high, one low. You can put one on your kettlebell and one down and then on the ground. And you can still offset one on the kettlebell and then one offset somewhere else. Let's try to switch up those push-ups a little bit. Again, six to 10, whatever you're at with your push-ups. I think it's important. Everyone work on push-ups, they're very good. Sideline push-ups, so your hand, arm, that's underneath kind of hugs your rib cage. It's that top arm does all the work, okay? Now you can use your obliques and almost get yourself back up. That's not the point. The point is to push yourself up, all right? So try to work hard on those triceps. As we do those, one arm, dumbbell, kettlebell, overhead sit-ups, love those. Side plank with the reach again, light dumbbell. Kind of lightweight today, nice functional day. Lots of jumps, with the lunge jumps, and the squat jumps, that's your side plank reach. And then the last two, no weights, three-legged dog, up with a crunch, and then your reverse plank with that salute. So, good and strong up here. All right, keep those hips up. 10 of those, five on each side. Okay, that was it. I had to run in here, get this done. I'm just gonna toss stuff over here, because I'm gonna go to the beach. Finish off for this beautiful Sunday. Thanks guys, see ya.